What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today we're looking at another handheld home massage product. In a previous video that I'll link uh, up here, we looked at this. This is the percussion action massager with heat from a company called Nursal uh, and it sucks. I really did not like uh, what it did, how it did it and it really didn't work for me at all. Uh, but I did get intrigued by the whole concept of having uh, a product, a tool at home that you can do some home massaging with. Uh, in my daily life I'm a personal trainer and I like to work out myself as well, which means you always have little pains, little injuries and little things you want to uh, treat. But massages, professional stuff is expensive. Uh, so you sort of foam rollers and balls and so on. And this is sort of an additional tool uh, to that lineup, I'd say. So I once again turned to Amazon and got myself this. From the same company, this is called the Nursal Handy Power Massager. And it's uh, a similar concept without the percussion. So that is always uh, already a good start. Uh, and it's a bit simpler, uh, but it offers a lot of the same uh, promises. So muscle relaxing, a bit of toning and getting rid of soreness and so on. So we're gonna give this one a try as well, see if it's any better. Uh, I really like it that it doesn't have any percussion in it because uh, you might see in the other video that I really did not like that part uh, and also the heating was pretty uh, pointless in my opinion so that this one doesn't have that either uh, so it's, theoretically it's off to a better start but, but we're gonna see if it is actually effective at all and if it's any good uh, and a, good, a worthy sort of companion to foam rollers and balls and, and maybe even a replacement for an actual massage let's do a little unboxing first to show you what you get in the box and then uh, I'll show you how it works of course and see if it is any good all right, so first things first, let's have a little unboxing of the Nursal Handy Power Massager. As you can see, it's a pretty uh, lively box with lots of pictures and text and instructions and possibilities on it, which is, um, on the one hand, I suppose quite nice because you get to see the product and uh, know exactly what it does and doesn't do, but it's a bit busy uh, for my taste. Here on the side, you get a few uh, images of where you can use it and how you can use it. Uh, obviously, because here on the front, uh, it says uh, pretty much everything it can do, which is muscle toning, massaging, uh, exercising, relaxing, targeting abs, buns, thighs, calves, and underarm muscles, and so on. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of possibilities with this device, and it comes pretty clear from the packaging. Anyway, opening it up, it's just a cardboard box, so no fancy magnetic clips or anything. And we're greeted with the user manual, which is always uh, quite nice, and the unit itself. Uh, nothing we need to see in the box, uh, it's just nasty. Uh, sharp plastic but you know it presents the unit pretty well in lime green as you can see and obviously that's the theme of the box as well uh, we got uh, what looks like three attachment pieces here and there's already one installed and take it out got the power cord this thing doesn't work on batteries but you plug it into a socket uh, obviously because it requires quite a bit of power and the first thing you notice uh, obviously not on camera but it's quite heavy so that's a good sign uh, over here we have the power button and obviously it's the, the rocker to make it go faster or slower. Nurse logo here on the front, the green handle part, nothing uh, in terms of interface otherwise. Uh, but this is the business end and that is actually the main uh, point of contact obviously with your body. It is covered with a sort of a, a sock, pantyhose. Uh, in the manual it says, says that this is to prevent any hair. Uh, from your body that uh, obviously will have everywhere uh, to get into the mechanism here so that's actually quite nice and it also provides a little bit of um, not lubrication but less friction with your skin because this is obviously just you know hard plastic uh, this makes it slide over your skin a little bit better here you have one of the attachments already installed obviously each attachment does something different and you just pop it on like so so if you want to switch attachments uh, it's simple as just popping another one on uh, you can see right away that this spins, so that is uh, actually one thing that the motor does, make it spin, and this also moves uh, freely for uh, you know, a better uh, experience, so to speak. It doesn't you know, statically sit on your skin, it doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere, it actually has room to move within the device as well. So that is quite nice. Now these attachment uh, pieces all look different, obviously, and they all have a slightly different function, be it uh, you know, a relaxing massage for your neck, uh, two uh, fat burning cellulite uh, disappearing motions uh, for your butt for example uh, so you have to pick and choose uh, what you're going to use on which body part and to which effect which is actually exactly what we're going to do now don't worry I'm not going to show you uh, my butt and do a cellulite massage but uh, we'll show you how it works and uh, see if this is actually any good alright so let's take this handheld massager for a test drive as you can see I don't uh, fully fit in the frame but to spare you any full frontal uh, body shots I thought I'd do a little calf massage and that makes it easy for me to sit down like this. 
you can see I've selected the two spherical heads um, attachment, which according to the box is for a uh, acupuncture and deep tissue kind of massage, which is the kind of stuff that I like. Um, it pops on pretty much uh, very easy like this, uh, but this still spins freely underneath. So as you apply uh, pressure with your skin, uh, this can still spin by itself. So it's not like you're fully gonna go uh, crazy with the rotation. The only thing left to do from here is to pop the sort of protective cover on, just like that. Uh, this is not only to prevent hairs from getting uh, into the unit, uh, but it also uh, provides a little bit of easier uh, sort of friction with your skin. If you want to use any oils though, I don't recommend using this because this will get dirty quite quickly. Then you probably want to use the head uh, straightly on your skin since then you have the sort of added benefit of the oil and not so much friction in that case. You just got to be a little bit careful with hairy areas. Anyway, we're going to use uh, the attachment in this case. Turning it on uh, is pretty simple, uh, not much of an interface, just on and off. Uh, and obviously you can adjust the speed here. Now, as we saw in the, um, in the other massage unit from the same company, the speed was not much of an adjustment. It was just a three-way setting. In this one, uh, let's see what it does and listen to the sound. That's why we turn it on. You can see the balls spinning. That's one, two. No, it's the same thing. Uh, three sort of speed settings, and that is really all you got to work with. Uh, it does light up, I'm not sure if that's uh, relevant or not, uh, but its color matches the color here. This is sort of a nasty plastic where you hold it, like so. Uh, they could have made this out of a nicer, sort of maybe a grippy rubber or anything material. Don't really like the plastic feel of it. Anyway, let's see what it does uh, to my calf. That is quite pleasant actually. I like that you can hold it um, in the hand, palm of your hand and apply pressure that way. It makes it very easy to regulate the pressure that you have on your skin and on your muscle. Uh, the downside obviously of this uh, handheld design is that it's hard to reach places over your shoulder or on your back. You're going to need a second person for that. Let's adjust the speed a little bit. Quite nice, I have to say. You can really target the muscle. Again, the calf is uh, just like I did in the other video. I used my forearm. Calf is not a particularly big muscle, so it makes it sort of easy to find uh, your sore spots and to work them out. It becomes a lot harder in larger muscles like your quads or your glutes, for example, especially when there's a little bit of fat around the muscle. So far, so good. This is actually quite pleasant and quite easy to regulate in terms of pressure and speed. Now I mentioned the um, attachment point here, which is uh, you know to prevent hairs from coming into the device, which is a great idea uh, by itself, but this doesn't really work. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If you apply too much pressure, it pops off, because then the friction between this and the massage head becomes too big, and it creates a problem. So, you know, that's uh, great for sort of the light massages, but if you want to go heavy on bigger muscles, like your glutes, for example, this is going to pop off almost immediately, especially when there's a bit of sort of stretchy skin around. Uh, so it becomes quite unusable that way. For smaller muscles, shoulders, uh, calves, forearms, that kind of stuff, you're not going to apply that much pressure anyway. Uh, so this will be fine. But for the bigger muscle groups, you're definitely going to need some oil and go uh, straight onto the massage head. All in all, it feels quite uh, nice in the hand. I would have liked to see this uh, power cord maybe on the top because it does get in the way of your arm a little bit, uh, depending on where you plug it in, of course. It is a nice long cord, so you can sit away uh, a little bit from a socket, which is a good thought. Uh, and overall, I think the design is nice and ergonomic. Uh, it reminds me a bit of a sort of a blender. I wouldn't even be surprised if this was just a blender motor in there. Uh, the main thing that you're gonna get out of this though is vibration. Yes, it spins. And yes, that helps a little bit, but um, there's not enough uh, twisting force and there's not enough grip inside uh, this head uh, to grip onto the uh, massage head attachment piece or whatever you want to call it, enough to actually keep this twisting and keep this twisting as well. Yes, it does you know, twist when you do it like this, but when there's uh, pressure on one, then you can see I can just spin it around. Uh, so it's not gonna sort of go through your muscles like an actual massage therapist would, 
um, but it's mainly the vibration that you're going to get out of it that is going to do the massaging for you. All right, so that was a little demonstration of how this uh, handy power massager works. Uh, now it's time to reach some kind of a verdict on it. Um, I kind of like it, I have to say. It is much better in terms of form factor than the other hand massager, also from the same company that we looked at in the previous video. Uh, so that's something I quite like. It's much easier to uh, regulate your movements and to regulate the pressure that you put on it. The downside of the design is obviously that it's hard to reach spots behind your back, which is uh, usually where most tensions and pains occur. So um, it is definitely a home use thing and it's definitely a hand use thing. Uh, but if you want to go for shoulder blades and so on, you're definitely going to need a second person. Uh, but if you have a partner or spouse, that should not be an issue. Uh, in terms of build quality, it feels quite nice. Uh, the only problem I have is the sort of attachment sock uh, that prevents hair from getting into the device. That clicks on like this, that should have been something that you screw on. Because uh, like I showed in the video, when you put too much pressure, uh, then it's going to pop off. So that doesn't really work for bigger muscles like your glute, for example, when there's also quite a lot of skin involved uh, but for smaller muscles like forearms and calves uh, it's generally fine because you're not going to put that much pressure anyway in terms of the massage action itself um, it does deliver on its promise that you can sort of uh, get rid of small little pains and small sorenesses uh, especially sort of round joints where the muscle meets the tendon uh, this is definitely something that works uh, but again only for smaller muscle groups um, the unit itself doesn't allow for sort of hardcore deep tissue stuff on bigger muscles. Uh, for that you're definitely still going to need massage therapists that can use his elbows properly. Uh, but for smaller muscles um, you can definitely use this at home if you're an athlete like me or somebody does sports a lot um, to get rid of those small pains and to sort of treat yourself a little bit without spending uh, too much money on a massage therapist. Uh, besides athletes I also think this works for people who sit behind a desk all day or maybe uh, truck drivers and so on that need to get rid of sore muscles uh, because they sit still for a long time. Uh, this really works great for neck muscles as well uh, to get rid of tension over there uh, as long as you don't have to go too further uh, too far back uh, between the shoulder blades definitely something uh, you can use in that situation as well. Uh, the portable form factor also makes it nice to take with you uh, in a travel bag on holiday or anything uh, the only downside is that it's quite heavy so if you're flying with weight restrictions that might be an issue. All in all though I think this is a nice device to have uh, regardless of if you're a hardcore athlete or you know somebody who just sits still all day and likes a bit of relaxation at the end of the day it's very comparable to um, a massage seat for example uh, but just only with one motor it's not going to replace your massage therapist absolutely no question about it uh, for bigger muscles proper massages proper work you're going to need somebody who knows what he's doing and who knows how to use his elbows properly uh, but this is something for in between i'd say uh, and it'll definitely not provide any miracles but uh, just a little extra relief when necessary. So all in all, uh, I can definitely recommend this if you are uh, into sort of self-massaging and uh, making sure that your body stays healthy. This could be a nice tool uh, to use at home. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the Nursol Handy Power Massager. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, that helps us out a lot and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!